Hello guys, you are most welcome to this video. It's no longer news that uh, Senator Ifani Oba is no more. This is the family of Senator Ifani Oba in London. He died on the 27th day of July 2024. May he so rest in peace. In this video, we'll be telling you a few things we know about him. He's a senator and before he came into politics. He was a business mogul. He specialized in oil business. He's the owner of a capital oil. And before then, he had a newspaper. He founded a newspaper called The Authority. In Nigeria, it's a daily newspaper. He has a foundation named after him. Ifanyo Oba Foundation. Where which he used in doing some charities to his uh, people as a humanitarian. Ifanyi Oba is also the is the owner of uh, Ifanyi Oba PSC, a Nigerian Premier League football club. He bought it because before now the football club was referred to as Gabros International FCT. FC. Ifani Uba became an exporter of motor and tire spare parts, major, majorly in West Africa, including Ghana, Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Congo DR, before his, he expanded his business ventures in some countries in Europe, to include Belgium and United Kingdom. He was also the owner and the CEO of Capital Oil, founded in 2021. Ifani Oba, may he so rest in peace. Since we hear of his death, some are celebrating, which is uh, unfortunate, or how do we put it? You can never celebrate the death of uh, another, because the death is for everybody. So I really don't understand why people should be celebrating the death of uh, somebody like uh, Ifani Oba or any other person. The reason why they are celebrating when I watch the comment section is because it, there is this claim, allegation that his own private jet was used to fly Nandekano back from Kenya by the Nigerian government. So we don't really know how true it is that he was one of those who were fighting Nandekano. Let us listen to very black man on this. Because of this one, so I just saw this news. Senator Ifa Yumba is gone. He buy in London. I will start to defear this slide more now. I will start to defear this slide more. What is funny is this man, I was with this man a few weeks ago. I won't go collect sample for clothes where they do for me. So the person contact me say, if I am bad, they come. And he go like introduce me to if I am bad. As I reach there, if I am bad already buy a lot of clothes. I don't want to exaggerate. The clothes where this man buy, plus shoes and everything. If you know much, you reach like 30 million. And after he finished, they come measure in head. They come introduce him to me. They come say, Asa, ah, this is very dark man. And the man come say, very dark man. Yeah. The man does not even know me. Let's say, say, what does he do? Or something like that. Then the man said, he's a social media person, da 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 da. The man said, oh, okay, okay, okay. But in boys said they around now, they know me, right? So they can't say, ah, say, sir, oh, you take him as your son, oh, you know, the kind of things he does, you know, you will need proper guidance, you will need all those kind of things, you know, because the person who introduced him to me, say, ah, this one, I mean, people where we say, if any while are there, you call them, you know, they'll give you guidance, they'll support you with whatever thing they can support you when you want to do your thing. You know, they just introduced us, his boy, we exchanged numbers, and then this man left. Now, he never reached, he never reached one month. Now, he don't buy. First things first, who go wear those clothes? It's not a stupid question, right? What I'm trying to say is nobody knows what will happen next. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what will happen next in this life. Nobody knows. This is a very, this is a big loss. This is a very big loss. This is a very big loss. I don't even know. It's just, ah, bro. It did do me like, bro. 
somebody that was laughing and the man they okay this is somebody that was hey this life what is the purpose of coming on earth you know this is a wealthy man i'm still here to discover the purpose of coming on earth i'm still here to discover it we come same routine for everybody come you go to school after school you start working after working you start earning then you get married you give birth is that it you struggle everybody struggling just to make money to drive the best car and have the best houses is that it is that why we are here is that why we are here if to say this money or all these things we are trying to acquire maybe if you buy more lives then i will not say okay there's something we came on earth that is what it will be here forever we see the beautiful roads we see the long bridges uh, uh um we'll see the new currencies we'll see new governments we'll laugh we'll see new beautiful women we'll see new beautiful children and all that that would have been worth it all this man land all this man properties and all that god what are we really here for what are we really here for and this is why i try as much as possible and i advise and i encourage people to always try to do the most with your time especially when it comes to yourself do your best to make your own self happy if coming online to bash people will make you happy try to do it but don't get arrested if helping people will, will, will make you happy while you're on earth do it this advice is not for people where they do robbery where they buy, buy people where they do kidnapping i just mean unlock your full potentials unlock your full potentials as a person because you never know when it's going to come rest in peace to sad if i am back God bless you and may your soul rest in peace. Senator Ifeni will be a massive empowerment programs for his constituents. Challenge. One of them is Senator Ifeni Uba. Some describe these as massive empowerment projects, which according to the Senator, it is a demonstration of life-changing employment program. Delivering his speech, Governor of Imo State explains that these benefits will follow the strong economic policy introduced by the federal government. He appeals that Nigeria should extend support to vulnerable groups around them. Mr. President also has encouraged, having encouraged the governors, members of the National Assembly, to see their brother's problem as their problem. To see the problems of members of their constituencies as their problem, he has also encouraged them to go back to their various constituencies to see how they can cushion the effect of this policy. The national chairman of APC, Abdullah Gandiji, commended the senator for his people's oriented empowerment programs. It's the one that you come and see a large crowd of people. Yes. But this rally is a mega rally. Yes. And it's a rally of empowerment. For the federal lawmaker who promised to ensure his desire to leave many out of poverty is achieved. <laughs> In fact, what drove him into politics was even this desire to have the platform to touch as many people as possible, you understand, and to put smiles on the faces of people, you know, by helping our people. Members of the APC National Working Committee challenged public office holders to take a cue from Senator Ifan Yuba's empowerment gesture. Every time everybody is shouting about Bolatinu, 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 the president is not going to be the only one that can solve this problem. The governors across the 316, the 109 senators, like Ifa Yuba is doing, must rise to the occasion and continually do more at this season.